So I'll start just by showing you the colours. Now I'm only, I'm only going to use um, a couple of colours. It'll probably just be Payne's Grey and Ultramarine. I'm going to try and do like a sort of very simple atmospheric, like light district type scene with the light sort of coming down the middle. So I'm just going to start off just giving it, giving the paper. 15 by 11 inches Fabriano, 130 pound. Just giving it a good soak. And then Payne's Grey, Ultramarine. And I'm just going to come in from, from either side. But I want to try and leave a sort of light area down the middle. back in again, same two colours, Payne's Grey, Ultramarine, just push it in, a little bit darker, you see when I get, when I get it really dark, come in sideways as opposed to like that, you can see how it really darkens up then, see like that, and then you can always brush like that just to sort of level it, even it out of it. I think that will do for that. So I want to get it in before the paper dries. So still using the same two colours. I'm going to go about two thirds of the way up, and then just put in the most. You know, I've just caught a bit of the, the the lemon yellow there. I'll get away with that. And these are the most distant ones, distant mountains, and then while. While I'm putting them in, I might as well just pull down the reflections. And then same again. I'm really dark now. Lots of colour on the brush. Going really dark. Making sure that's level. And then again, pulling down the reflections. Remember, down as far as it's high. And then over on the right hand side. Coming right in. Obviously the closer they get the the more uh, the darker in tone they are. You see how that distant mountain is almost the same as the sky, whereas these two I've tried to uh, make them a bit stronger. And again just pulling out the reflection. I'm just gonna give that a quick dry. And just pull this tight so I've got a flat surface to work with again. You see, you get this sort of nice light effect coming down, and then you can see how this has dried slightly. So, I put these ones in earlier while it was still wet, and you can see how it's uh, you get more of a sort of blurry edge to it, softer edge, and then as it dries like it was almost there, you get a harder edge, so I got it in just in time. I could, you can always just let it dry before you put the reflections in, put all the mountains in first, dry it and then re-wet it, make sure it's bone dry because if you wet it when it's not dry you'll ruin all the nice effects you've got in the water area. So, because I'm using the same two colours, there's no Point, there's no need to clean the brush, so I'm just going same colours again. Ultramarine, Payne's grey, and then I'm just gonna just put in this bit of land there in the foreground. 
just dipping the tips in the water just to brush it again a little bit dry and a quick sweep just little bits of land sticking out the water Some on the uh, a little bit on this side as well. I'm just making sure that's not drying yet because I just want to give them a quick scrape with the scrape a few rocks in. I've got to get that in before it dries, so I'm just keeping a quick eye on it. In fact, I'll do it now. Up there. I never like to sort of have them on the same level. Do one eye than the other. It just it just seems to look better. Same with the mountains. Always do one eye than the other. If you're all having the same level, it just looks just doesn't look right. So I'm going just a piece of plastic card and then just scraping in a few rocks here and there. It's always very easy to overdo because. a few flicks up, a few grasses and a few rocks over there and then back to the hike and then just look up maybe just a tad more water again going a bit dry and just flick up few grasses by the water's edge. So that's the foregrounding. I just want to put a, a yacht in now. <coughs> it needs a focal point. I like the, the light effects and all that, but it needs a focal point. So I often use two pieces of card, plates like that, but I'm, I'm finding it easier at the moment to just do it freehand. So I'm just taking the a number three rigger, tissue in one hand, rigger in the one hand, the other hand, wet, take the excess off, take the excess water off on your on your towel. What I've done, I'm just going to make sure this is dry, make sure this is dry, because otherwise. When I put my finger in it, in the hand, it's gonna, I'm gonna rock, make a right mess. dry now. So, rigger, take the excess off and then don't do it too, but I'd always like them, in fact, where should I put it? I might go in on this side. Pick a nice dark spot. And then just put in the shape. Brush is a bit wet. Just put in a simple yacht shape. Just take off the paint with a tissue. And then once you got your sails in, just do a very simple, just do exactly the same below it. And you got a nice little reflection. But that just gives it a nice little focal point to the scene. Also gives it a sense of scale as well. Because everyone knows how big a boat is like that. You wouldn't really have known how tall the mountains were without that. 
think all that's left to do now is pop your signature in. And that's another one done. That's just a nice simple Lake District scene, just two colours. I only use but, um, ultramarine blue and Payne's grey. And then just brush it in from the side, leave the light area down the middle, and you get a nice, nice effect. Thanks for watching, hope you like that. Keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.